Hey, Daily Dosers, this is Pastor Larry here with Bonus Monday. A, a look at something from this last weekend sermon that I want to take just a few moments and uh, dig into a little deeper and leave you with something to think about. And it comes from 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 8 to 10, and it, it gives us a good description of what it really looks like when I'm guided by faith through hard times. So Peter was writing at a time of persecution, deep persecution, as is so common throughout the New Testament era. And here's what he says. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. So the danger is absolutely real. The enemy is out there. He's looking for a chance to get you. So now he gives us advice of what to do. Number one, resist them standing firm in the faith. Practically what he's saying is when all hell is breaking loose, you hear the roar, you're scared to death, you want to run off in this direction, he's, he's after you, taking the bites, he's grabbed your leg, whatever it, it is, you just stand strong and keep doing the right thing. That's what it means to resist the enemy. The Bible doesn't say run from the enemy, it says stand up to the enemy. Stand strong. How do we do that? We don't give in to his temptations, to his ideas, to his shortcuts. Resist him and stand firm in the faith. And then he says, here's why. Number two, because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of suffering. <laughs> See, the second thing is, as we're going through this, we've always got to remember that we aren't alone. Other people are going through this same kind of stuff. It's whenever I think my situation is unique that I suddenly excuse myself to take different paths than the path the Lord has called me to take. Well, my financial situation is this. My emotional situation is this. I, I, I can come up with a whole list of reasons why the rules for others are not the rule for me. And especially when doing things God's way doesn't seem to be working out. It seems as if the enemy is winning. And he says, no, 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 no. Stand strong, do the right thing, and remember, despite what you think, you're not alone. This is tried, true, and tested wisdom and advice from God himself. And then the third thing he says is this, and the God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ after, circle highlight underline, after you've suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. You see, we're restored after we have suffered. And it goes back to what I started out this last weekend's message with. We often think that our faith and our Lord is supposed to keep us from suffering. No, we're going to suffer. I, I mean, you might have had the most blessed life ever, and you're still going to die. I mean, it happens to every single person. And so what he's telling us is as we stand firm, as we remember, no, we're not unique, we, you know, so that rules for others don't apply to us. He says also remember that, yeah, it really will be hard. <laughs> it's like the birth pangs that a mother goes through bearing a child. They're really hard, but the child comes afterward. And it's the Lord's promise here that he will restore us after we have suffered. I like to say that it takes a mess to have a miracle. We all want a miracle, don't we? <laughs> but you don't have a miracle unless you have a mess. And as Jesus follows, we're periodically going to find ourselves there. Hang tough. You're not alone. It will be all right. God is still in control. That's how it worked then. That's how it works now. And that's how it will work until Jesus comes back again.